All right, now we're doing 7Q, looking for a benefactor. This is by G964. 79% of people like it. Uh, basically, according to this, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to find a new average. Excuse me, find the number we need to get the average we want, okay? Um, so we're going to be given like this array, something like this array here, and that's going to be the R. The new average is going to be uh, this dot length plus one. Uh, excuse me. The new average is going to be... No, excuse me. The, the number we need is going to be this number here. times this array length dot this array dot length plus one because we're gonna we would have one more uh, element here which is the number that's missing and then we subtract that number we subtract all of these numbers from that number and that will give us the answer hopefully that makes sense to you uh, because this stuff it's just it's a good effort. It's a good effort. It's a good effort. But that's what we're going to do. All right. So right here, what we're going to do is say we're going to say res let result equal. And now we're going to do that thing where uh, we say uh, average, no, excuse me, r dot length plus one. Let me wrap this up in a parentheses. Times... Uh, new average. All right. So that's what this is going to equal. This result. And now we're going to do a for loop to uh, so that we can subtract all these numbers from this number. Okay. So we're going to say for uh, let index equals zero while index is less than uh, r dot length because we don't need the plus one when we're just doing these numbers. We're going to say index plus plus, just iterate through uh, the array. So now we're going to say result minus equals um, r at index. Okay. And now we got to take care of this throw thing. So uh, basically, if it's less than zero, we got to throw an error. If, if the result is less than zero, we throw an error. So what we're going to do is say uh, if result is less than or equal to zero, throw, that's not how you spell it, error, all right? And then we're going to, if that doesn't throw an error, we're going to return result. Let's see what happens. Perfect. Okay. I don't know why it's over here. Let me take care of that real quick. All right. Can't stand that. I can't stand that, honestly. And right here. All right, cool. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, we tested it out. It's good. Attempt it. What? Oh, yeah. So we got to round up to the next integer. So that's why we're going to use this math.seal function, which always rounds the number up to the next largest integer, right? So right here, we're going to say parentheses, and then, oops, that's how you spell it, math.seal. Test it out. Attempt it. Submit it. Uh, very much like this one. Let's go to my solutions. Just me. Best practice on here. And we'll see you next time.